Hi everyone, so today I am making a super easy garlic and butter chicken spaghetti dish. I found this recipe on Pinterest while looking for some meal ideas to use up the rest of the chicken in the freezer. Um, I myself am a vegetarian, so I don't have a lot of experience cooking with chicken, and even I found this recipe to be super easy. So I think if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, I will be sure to leave a link to the recipe down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. Alright, let's get started. Okay, first things first, we need to set our oven at 350 degrees, so we'll get that going. Alright, and then over here it says to place, well actually I'm using chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts because I accidentally unthawed chicken thighs instead of breasts. Whoops! Um, I didn't read the package. It says to lay down the chicken breasts, or chicken thighs in our case, onto a well-oiled Pyrex baking dish. And I'm going to use these because I don't like the feeling of raw chicken. So, there's that. <laughs> and then it says to season with just salt and pepper. Okay. It also says that you can add, um, add in red chili flakes. If that's something that you like. But, uh... Jake is pretty weird about that sort of thing, so we're just omitting that part. I think I'm gonna do the other side too, right? It doesn't say specifically, but I'm just guessing that you wouldn't want one side of your chicken cooked and not the other. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip it back over. I don't know why they're connected. Is that normal? All right, coming back over to the stove, I have it set to about medium low, and I'm going to melt two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of canola oil, and two teaspoons of minced garlic. Here, I'm gonna do a mix around. All right, now that that's almost melted down, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of brown sugar and just kind of mix it in there. Okay, now that that's melted down, I'm going to pour it over the chicken. And there's a lot of garlic. All right, now I'm gonna stick it in here for 25 to 30 minutes. Alright, now I have a pot with just some water and a little bit of salt in there boiling. And I'm gonna add in my spaghetti and get that cooking. I'm not sure, I think the recipe calls for like uh, a third a pound of spaghetti, but I'm not really sure how much I'm adding in. I'm just adding in a lot because he eats a lot, so. And I'm actually gonna bring it back over here and I'm going to add in three tablespoons of butter and two additional teaspoons of garlic. And to that, I'm going to add in a little bit of salt. Now I'm gonna add my spaghetti back in and give it a good mix. Alright, and here is the finished dish. I've added some Parmesan cheese on top of it, and I think Jake's gonna add probably some sauce, but I think I'm gonna have him test it with just just the recipe, because the recipe doesn't call for sauce. So, I'm gonna have him test it like this, and then he can add, you can add whatever you want to it. Like, he's gonna add, probably add spaghetti sauce to it, but. Alright, go ahead. Get a bite of chicken, and some spaghetti in there. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, well that's it. If it was pretty easy. If a vegetarian like myself can make it, then. 
somebody who actually eats meat and cooks with meat re regularly could probably very easily make it. Um, there was a bit of a variance in the temperature and I think that was just because I made it with chicken thighs rather than chicken breasts. But I think the recipe, should you should be able to follow the recipe otherwise. Um, it's not super healthy, I wouldn't say, because I think in total it ended up being like five tablespoons of butter or something crazy like that. So I definitely wouldn't say it's healthy, but it's definitely family friendly. It's just like garlic, butter, a crap ton of butter, um, and then like a little bit of brown sugar to make it a little bit of, a little bit sweet, I think. Um, but yeah, it was pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty relatively quick. Um, wasn't too big of a mess. I think we dirtied up only uh, only like three three di two dishes, maybe three. Yeah, three dishes all together. But if you're looking for something healthier, I do have a soup that I want to share pretty soon. It's like a Moroccan soup. It's got sweet potatoes. It's really good and chick sweet potatoes and chickpeas. It's really good. I do want to share that. Um, so I will probably be sharing that sometime soon. I plan to make it within this week for dinner. So I'll just record as I make it. So. You look forward for that. But anyway, thanks so much for joining. Um, hope this wasn't too disastrous. 